today we have to see what is the primary key in SAP ABAP okay let's start uh, from the beginning now go to the transaction for AC11 now we can create the table new table click to create now we have given the short description for the table table 2 and uh, give the delivery class delivery class uh, a application table and uh, data browser is a uh, display maintenance allowed now go to the technical settings activate the table local object data class is appl0 size category once we give the fields after we give the size category otherwise no need you can save put it back now go to extras we give the enhancement category can be enhanced to deep now activate it table was not activated or uh, okay because we can't give any field name we have created the field for uh, the employee id employee id is a key field first we can click the data element okay because data element contains domain then we have create the data type okay uh, next uh, we give the data element the data element is employee id okay already created next we give employee name we can give the initial value only okay not a key because each table need to activate it one primary key otherwise the table can't activate it example i am uh, yeah this is one checkbox only i am check this is a name also employee name also now we can activate the table can't activate it okay need uh, one primary key okay field employee name cannot be used as a key field because no default exists for the type okay so we need to activate on primary key so employee id is a primary key now we can give the employee name okay. now activate the table go to the size category maintain the size category go to the technical settings give the size category zero this is the options what are the possible entries for the size category number of data records in the table expected okay zero to 15 is uh, fine save and activate the table this is not a key field okay initial value only id only the key field now let's see how it's work okay now go to extras so go to table contents in a minute the table will be activated yeah object saved and activated now go to utilities create contents table contents create entries employee id employee id is z101 employee name vijay and save oh, save oh, so next uh, yeah. create entry is next we give the employee id 102 employee name suji save next we give the employee id 103 employee name satya 
save now again i am give the employee id 101 now try i am trying to save now but i did not save because the data record with the specified key already exists this is actually how the primary key works okay then only we see how to work the primary key the employee id is a primary key okay that is the reason why we can't create the contents for the same employee id we can create 104 but can't create 101 because employee id is a primary key so can't create same employee id again and again okay this is actually the uses of the primary key yes saved 104 is 104 is saved but 101 not works table contents create entries okay 101 example 105 i am trying to create the 105 employee id yeah database record successfully created but or not one or again i tried to create one not five for different name for copy again we get the same error a data record with the specified key already exists this is actually used for primary key okay now activate the table we can see now what is the record we created this is employee id name what the fields we can create this is the contents we have created for this table okay employee id and the employee name employee id is a primary key so we can't create the same employee id for repeat but employee name is not a primary key so we have created the employee name but employee id want to create this is a primary key so need to activate at least one primary key for the each database table so thank you for my new subscribers and subscribe my channel watch more videos i upload also